People on Broadway weighed in on whether America's once most popular beer can reclaim its place in people's hearts, minds, and hands. I definitely will not drink it. If that was the only beer to drink, I wouldn't drink it. However, Adam said he absolutely thinks Americans will eventually put Bud Light's ongoing scandal in the rearview mirror. People have gotten over far bigger things that had much further reaching implications that impacted their daily life than whether or not Bud Light had a rainbow colored can, he said. They'll be fine. Bud Light sales have plummeted since the beer maker partnered with Dylan Mulvaney in April to celebrate the transgender influencers' 365 days of girlhood. The move spurred nationwide boycotts that are hitting the wallets of retailers, distributors, bars, and contracted companies. In the 12-week period leading up to July 2, Bud Light's sales volume fell by 27.1%, data from Evercore ISI show. Bud Light dropped from the ninth most popular beer last year to 15th, falling behind brands like Pabst Blue Ribbon, Miller, Miller High Life and Coors. According to a July YouGov survey, You do you, but don't shove it down my throat. They just made a mistake. It'll blow over eventually, but it's going to take a while. However, Rose said she supported Bud Light's decision to partner with Mulvaney. I think anything that is going to show representation for a group of people, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, she said. The brand cannot redeem itself. They dug their own hole, she said. A lot of people are upset about it and are not buying anything Anheuser-Busch. And that's okay. I think we have that right. Fallout from the partnership spilled over into other Anheuser-Busch products, which are also suffering sales declines. Budweiser's sales volume dipped by 13.5% and Bush Lights declined by 9.8% between April 2 and July 2. Evercore ISI data show. Collectively, Anheuser-Busch InBev beer sales were down 15.4% over the same period. I think it'll blow over in time, but it definitely hurt Budweiser, Darren said. Despite disagreeing with the brand's decision, Patty said her husband remains a Bud Light loyalist. He absolutely will still drink Bud Light. He doesn't care who's on the can, she said.